Hi, everyone. Welcome to day number 70 of our 77 day video challenge. It is almost over. It's still pretty late tonight, not as late as last night. So I am going to indulge myself and share the full story of what I wanted to talk about last night. As I mentioned real quick, last night we went and we saw the play A Christmas Story. The first time I ever met my husband, then boyfriend, when I met his parents, it felt like I was walking into my parents' home. I was that comfortable immediately with them. My first Thanksgiving with them, I spent it with Troy's parents. He was working. <laughs> I was brought into the fold right away. I fit in really well. Between Thanksgiving and Christmas and all around Christmas, the movie A Christmas Story played repeatedly. And the scene where little Ralphie gets the pink bunny costume from Aunt Clara comes downstairs. He hates it. John, Troy's dad, my favorite father-in-law, Little brat should be grateful for you. They even got anything. I just started smiling when I heard him say that. I heard afterwards that my mother-in-law told him, you should not have said that because you are going to end up with a pink bunny costume. I saw Chris's eyes. That's what you're going to get next year. No, no, no. She won't do that to me. Yes, I did. All year long, I kept it up that I've got a friend. She's sewing him a pink bunny costume. He's going to have to open it at Christmas time. And he, no, 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 she doesn't, she doesn't know my size. Well, it fits Troy. If it fits Troy, it'll definitely fit you. Just kept egging him on all year long. And at whatever point, he did say, if you get me a pink bunny costume, I will wear it. Didn't have a length of time that he would wear it, but he would put it on. <laughs> Christmas time rolls around and I have a nice sized box prettily wrapped for my favorite father-in-law, even though he was not my father-in-law at the time. He's a little worried and he should be. <laughs> he opens up the box and pulls out a pink bunny costume. It is a clearance item I found on Victoria's Secret for a pink bunny. <laughs> it is a tank top, cut down really low, a uh, very high cut up on the hips. Not that you see me, my hands doing that. It had the headband with the pink bunny ears, and you had the big fluffy white tail right on the back side. He opens it up. Hell no. Shaking his head. I said I would wear it. And he goes to the bathroom and proceeds to put this outfit on over his black pants, bright red shirt, and a black vest. <laughs> and he comes out proud as can be. He's going to be very proud of me right now because I am not going to show any pictures. I took the pictures. Well, that started a whole series of presents for years and years to come. The following year, I got him a pink bunny present. I took that picture of him in that pink bunny outfit, and I got a puzzle made out of it. The year after that, I got him pink bunny slippers. The year after that, pink bunny little girl's purse but I did tuck in a Menards gift card. Every year, Easter time, I would go through those clearance items finding anything pink bunny. I got my sisters involved in it. My one, two of my sisters, they went to Hawaii. One of them picked up a hot pad, a trivet, and it had three hula pink bunnies dancing in it. One year I found the pink bunny, Ralphie pink bunny. It was a small ornament, but where the head is, you could put in a picture of your favorite father-in-law. That ornament hope is hanging proudly every single year on the Christmas tree. After probably about eight years, we finally, I finally stopped doing this. But the memories will live on forever. 
Now, don't go feeling real bad for my father-in-law. He's a shyster in and of himself. This is the man when he asks, what do you want for a gift? He would do this to his wife. He did this to me. His wife, my favoriteest mother-in-law one year, asked for a chain for Christmas, a necklace chain. He went out and bought a great big huge bicycle lock chain, spray painted it gold, and gave that to her. A little shyster. Yes, he did give the actual gold necklace for her afterwards. One year she asked for some perfume. He got a gallon jug of water, put some blue food dye in it, and he labeled it perfume. And then he did give her the real item as well. For me, one year I had asked for one of those electronic hot cocoa makers. You put everything in, it's basically in a pitcher, sits on a base, you press go and it, and it mixes it up, makes it hot. He made me my own personal hot cocoa mixer. He took a mason jar, he put a cover on it, drilled a hole, dropped the dowel in it. Bottom of the dowel had a paddle. And then on the top of the dowel, sticking out from the top of the jar, there was a turn handle. So you put all your ingredients into the jar and you turn the handle, boom, voila, you have a hot chocolate maker mixer. Another year, this was the year he got a computer and a printer. <laughs> I asked for a uh, the bath massager for a foot bath at home. He made me one. He went and got one of the dish pans that you would usually wash your dishes in. He got some metal rollers. He got an old egg beater. And he got a long tubing, long piece of tubing. He printed and made a, an instruction manual. So on one picture, there's he drew stick figures. He drew me with my feet into the bath. And then there's another one kneeling with the hose. And he had to describe that this is Troy blowing bubbles through the tube to make the bubbles in the bath. The egg beater was to get that worrying going in there. Uh, the metal rollers, again, a massage on the feet. And then, of course, I did get the actual product. I love that he is so creative. I have had to be very tactful and diplomatic every once in a while with him. Uh, he frequently will ask if he wants me to come and sing. He offered to sing at our wedding, and I politely declined. Uh, just love this man to death. He, well, not to death because I don't want him to die. Love him so dearly. And my mother-in-law too had to share this story. It always brings a smile to my face. That is all for this evening. I have to get ready for a presentation tomorrow, candy making tomorrow, clean up the house, hopefully playing some games. And then Sunday, teach a friend how to make some of these videos and record and save them, attend a club meeting, and then finish updating a training session that I'll be presenting on Sunday afternoon. Very busy week ahead. Have a wonderful night, everyone. Sweet dreams. We will talk to you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.